So this was an interview on Epoch Times um, that ran, it's about a 16-minute interview. Rand Paul has a book out, um, but he says that uh, Health and Human Services and National Institute of Health are more secretive than the CIA on COVID origin documents. Yeah, because this is what he had, part of what he had to say. Unbelievable um, that uh, how massive this cover-up is. So Health and Human Services and National Institute of Health have been more secretive and hiding more stuff than the CIA does. We've been asking for documents, and they'll send us a 250-page document with everything redacted. Can you make, because this is oversight. So they're over all of these departments, all of these agencies. Why, really, can they not just cut the funding? Why, why is this, like, cut the funding off. Cut funding to NIH, cut funding to the universities, cut funding to all of these, anybody that gets government money. We finally got the Democrat Chairman Peters of the, of the Homeland Security Committee to sign letters, and he signed letters four months ago, four months ago, and we've still not gotten any documents. This is a quote from Rand Paul. He said uh, this, and he's for people that may or may not, he's a Republican from Kentucky. Uh, this is a really massive cover-up, and I suspect it's because there are many more links to the funding, and there was probably discussion of the funding. Yes, um, the links go to not, all of the science that's been involved into your universities, okay? And your universities that's already been uncovered in a different committee were behind silencing people like me and many others when it came to being anything that was contra contraindicated by the experts. Um, and yet he says very clearly, no, Americans have a right to have an opinion. The universities, no matter how expert and higher educated with their stupidity they think they are, which they're not, they're, they're experts at being stupid because they decided to silence me and many, many other people because we weren't following the narrative. And now, well, it's all falling apart. It's already known that there was gain-of-function use, so the pandemic didn't have to even happen. And, and, and really, he makes a good point. This is, this is like, you know, it's on the level of being as dangerous as nuclear weapons. It really is, because... If if they're going to do this, you know their their you know their mad science of let's cross animals and human cells together and make it worse, which that's what gain of function is. It's 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 adding a component to make a virus worse, gain of function, so it's not natural in or, origin. And yet, they're hiding this, and and. And there's so much corruption, and really the answer is, the I, I'm not really sure why, well, I've said what I think. I think it's because I think most of the people in Washington are likely, you know, they it will all come back on them. It'll all backfire. But either way, it'll backfire. I mean, they're just buy, buying time. They, they, they should cut off funding to the NIH. Putting more, different people in there is not going to gain the American people's trust in these agencies again. It will not. It won't. Because regardless of even if they were trustworthy people going forward, the amount of lies and cover up that's gone on, I, you you can't you can't repair that. And and besides that, there's no reason to have all these agencies, the Health and Human Services, National Institute of Health, all in with the universities, the very people that silenced everyday Americans like me, everyday people that lost their jobs because hospitals were so um, grandiose that they decided, especially in Illinois, but many blue states, that you would not be allowed a religious exemption. They picked and choose who would get a religious exemption. Well, now they have a ton of lawsuits coming at them because of making those decisions, because of experts deciding what we will and won't do. So for that reason alone, that's why these agencies should be eliminated. I'd rather, I, I, I think most Americans at this point if you're not, you know, you're not one of these experts at the universities that want to silence everybody and want to be t tyrannical over everybody, you, you would like to just, you know what, I'll take my chances. Thanks very much. This
cover-up doesn't just go into the science. It goes into every university because they silenced people. I, of course, everybody knows that's awake. You know how many people were in 2020 were wiped out. I mean, there, it had to be hundreds and thousands of accounts, maybe not hundreds, of, but it was thousands of accounts that they wiped out on YouTube because they, there was a time you couldn't even bring this up unless you followed the, the strict narrative. So while the American Medical Association and American Nursing Association and Hospital Association want to stay on their tunnel vision of we're on health, the health equity path, the healthcare equity, inclusiveness, diversity. It's like, yeah, and it looks like you're on that path because you're just trying to cover your tracks.